Hi, my name is Amanda from Meerkat and today we'll be talking to David who is the CEO and founder of Meerkat. Our topic for today is around credit score and credit report. Hi David and welcome. Hi Amanda, thank you. Um, what is a credit score and what is a credit report? Okay Amanda, so often as Meerkat when we're dealing with customers we don't just want to do our bear job, we want to help them do more with their money. So often that involves education, such as videos like this. Let's start with credit score. Okay, so when I deal with consumers and, and we talk about debt, they all seem to understand credit score. But I'm not sure they understand the detail. So let's talk a bit about that. But the one word I often hear is blacklisted. Mm -hmm. I have been blacklisted. Now, there is actually no concept of blacklist. Okay. I suppose a blacklist, if you think about it, implies I'm on some list and I won't get a loan. Mm. That's not the case. What it is, is you have a poor credit score. Now, the beauty of that is you can have a, an improvement in your credit score and you will eventually get credit. But if you have a poor credit score, you won't get credit. Credit score talks to the risk. So it is, if I want to lend you money, mm -hmm. I'd like to have an understanding of how likely you are to repay me. Yes. Okay. The credit score is the number that tells the bank whether you will or won't repay them. Now, people who watch TV from America, they think you have one credit score. But actually, the reality is every bank has a different credit score for Amanda. Okay. Okay? And every bureau has a different credit score for Amanda. Now, they do tend to, to be in a narrow range, but some banks will have more information or will use other information in their assessment of your risk. So the credit score can vary. So that's why sometimes you might be declined by bank one, but you'll actually get a loan from bank two because they have this different perspective. Okay. The credit report is a document that the banks use when they are thinking about giving you a loan. Okay. So they draw this credit report from the credit bureaus, and there are six bureaus in South Africa, and they all deliver more or less the same information. The report carries your score from that bureau, the loans you have, whether you're under debt counseling or not, whether you have, have been regularly paying those loans, often over 24 months, uh, usually it has some information about addresses and telephone numbers. Now, the credit regulator is very keen for customers to access their credit reports. But in my experience, it's like looking at a, a doctor's scribble when he scribbles a prescription. You know, you can see he's written something, but you can't read it. Uh, a credit report has lots of information, but many consumers struggle to understand what it is. So we've looked at this and we think we can do a bit better. So we're bringing through a, a single one-page document that will help you not only understand your credit score, but also understand affordability, which is another part of the puzzle that people often forget. Um, so we will show you your affordability, your credit score, your credit utilization, some ideas about how you can improve it. And also, to be honest, which is the biggest question for most people is, will I get a loan? Will I get a bond? Can I afford a car? So we help people understand how likely they are based on where they sit currently. So we're trying to help people with real understanding, not just with the data that you get in a credit report. What's taken into account when determining a credit score? Basically information. Now, most banks will look at the last 24 months, so they don't look older. But let's start with the big stuff, judgments. If you have a judgment on your record, then the bank will factor that into a credit score. Uh, how good are you at repaying? So in the last 24 months, have you made all your repayments on time? The amount of loans you have. So they, they use a thing called credit utilization. So if you have, I don't know, let's say balances on your credit cards of up to 100,000, so you can put 100,000 on your credit card. If you're at 99,000 of that 100, then your utilization ratio is 99%. Banks don't like that. So they like to see that you haven't used up, exhausted all your, your credit uh, lines, if you will. Your employment can sometimes feature, mm -hmm. by industry, whatever. Uh, sometimes they will look at other data. Uh, often on your credit report, you can see cell phone contracts. You can see some insurance policies. And really what the bank are looking at is, if they give you the money, mm -hmm. are you going to repay them every month? Uh, so it's a, it's a concept around risk, if you will. Okay. And what can one do to improve their credit score? Or what will have the biggest effect in improving credit score? The banks and the credit bureaus all have different models for, for the score. And those models change. 
Uh, I happen to know some banks change their models every six months. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can't even say that what went into your score last month is the same stuff going in this month because they're continuously trying to improve their assessment of risk. Uh, and things change in the economy. So, for example, over the last 18, 24 months, we've had lots of inflation, we've had high interest mm -hmm. rates. Those changes impact some people more than others. Um, so if you're running a small business, you know, maybe your business is now struggling, whereas two years ago it was thriving. So times change, circumstances change. So the credit score is a continuously moving algorithm. But the important thing for you as a consumer is just make your payments. If you've got to make four payments this month to the banks, make those payments. And then actually if you look at your credit report, you'll see four green ticks. Mm -hmm. And then next month you make the payments, more green ticks. When the bank looks over the 24 months, if they see crosses where you missed payments, mm -hmm. even one cross is bad. And then what happens on your credit report is it takes 24 months for that cross to move and then drop off the end. So you can work very hard to improve your credit score. A couple of bad months and it goes bad mm -hmm. and then it takes a long time to lift again. So the best advice for consumers is make your payments. Don't be over indebted. Um, don't do a lot of applications. Banks don't like to see you applying for 10 loans on the same day mm -hmm. because they think you're desperate. And it also makes them nervous that if you take out four of those loans, then you're not going to repay their loan. So basically, the best advice I give to people if their credit score is poor is to just stop applying, wait a period, or look at other means to get your credit score. So bureaus need to give you a free report every year. You can go to each bureau and get that free report. I find the credit reports are very complicated. Mm -hmm. They are written for the bank guy who's going to give you a loan. They're not necessarily accessible for consumers. So as Meerkat, we're looking at how we can advise customers on what they see on the credit report mm -hmm. so that they can actually answer the question they have, which is, will I get a loan? Uh, and that comes into a lot of different factors. And we've created a single report that summarizes that together that you can come and find on meerkat.coza. What behaviors can um, damage your credit score? Again, the main thing the banks are looking for is can you repay every month? So that's their biggest thing, which talks a lot to your, not just your ability to repay, but also your attitude. Mm -hmm. Do you prioritize your cell phone over your bank payment? Basically, regular payment history, that's the best thing you can do. Mm -hmm. um, not missing payments. Uh, not overextending yourself, so not too much debt. Uh, banks like to see that your salary can comfortably afford the debt you have. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually banks prefer secured assets. So a home loan looks better on your credit report than a 100,000 rand personal loan. Uh, and in fact, banks like to see secured loans being the biggest part of your repayments, not your credit card debts or your store cards. Can you remove bad data from your credit reports? So that's really important. So every South African is entitled to one free credit report from each credit bureau once a year. So there are six credit bureaus, so you could actually get a credit report every two months. Mm -hmm. uh, all the bureaus hold different data about you. There's a certain core set of data linked to your loans and your repayments that is common to everybody. Mm -hmm. But then they also like to bring in other data because they're competing to get the best picture of Amanda. But sometimes they make mistakes. So only when you look at your report from, let's say, TransUnion, will you see that, oh, they have a judgment there, but I've actually settled that judgment. Mm -hmm. Okay, Then you need to tell TransUnion to update their data. Or they might be showing a loan that you have settled, but they haven't had the data updated. Or there might be a credit card that you have closed um, that they haven't removed. So it is important to look at each bureau's report, and if there are any mistakes, you must telephone them and get them fixed. And the bureaus have a process that you can go and get the data corrected. But yes, having up-to-date data is very important. So for example, if you've gone to the trouble of settling a judgment, but that judgment is still appearing on all your credit reports, mm -hmm. then it actually you're not getting the benefit of the settlement. You need to make sure you can get that removed. Can debt counseling improve my credit score? The main driver of debt counseling is to help affordability. So to qualify for debt counseling, you have to be over indebted, right? Which means that basically after your disposable income, your household budget, you don't have enough money to pay your current debts. When somebody comes into debt counseling, we restructure the debts. We create a single monthly repayment that is affordable, uh, often significantly lower than what they were paying in total to their debts. Mm -hmm. So now 
they start paying this monthly payment every month. Okay? So the primary goal is we've improved affordability. But if you pay your debts every month for 50 months or 60 months, mm -hmm. which is the term of a debt review plan, then the banks look at the last 24 months. So as you near the end of your debt counseling program, you have 24 months mm -hmm. of perfect payment history. So actually your credit score improves. Now, while you're on the program, your credit report shows the flag that you're under debt counseling. Mm -hmm. That's not a score issue. That's like a, a yes or no issue. But once we issue the clearance certificate, then you are cleared from debt review and that flag is removed. And then if you have been regularly paying your payments to your debt counselor, you will have improved your credit record. So you'll actually come out of the process with great affordability and an improved credit score. Now we do find that some of the banks, when you arrive for debt counseling, they have you in arrears. And then as you pay each month, they just say you're paying behind the arrears. So when you come out at the end, you're still in arrears. Mm -hmm. Now, as Meerkat, we work with the banks and with our consumers so that we can settle that issue earlier on in the plan so that when you come out of the plan, you do have a good credit score. Thank you so much, David. Thank you, Amanda.